morning, Thursday, August 26th. I'm Pat Carroll. And I'm Michael Wallace. The World News Roundup is top stories. The suspect in the biased stabbing of a Muslim cabbie spent time filming Marines in Afghanistan. I'm Paul Bernane of the suspect's hometown of Brewster. Another morning of cancellations and delays on the LIRR. An Empire State Building protest is planned today over Mother Teresa's birthday. The Fed will not change Governor Christie's failing grade on his homework for education money. Recent rainfall might keep officials from declaring a drought warning in northern New Jersey. Scores at the mark play. Tiger Woods tied for the lead at two under par. Yankees lose to the Blue Jays. Mets lose to the Marlins. WCBS News Time, 8 o'clock. Economic pessimism. When jobs are not plentiful, people don't feel good. Tainted eggs, still in the food chain. Well, we got a half a billion eggs. It's a heck of a waste. Gulf Coast readies for dark anniversary. It still feel like yesterday to me. Good morning. I'm Steve Cave, and with the CBS World News Roundup, can it get any worse? Economic gloom has settled in and may be here for a while. But just for the CBS News poll finds 83 percent of us say the economy is in bad shape. 34% believe things are getting worse. Economist Mark Zandi says there are plenty of good reasons for pessimism, but doesn't think we'll slip into another recession. The odds of a double dip uh, are rising, and they're uncomfortably high. We don't have any cushion. If anything else goes wrong, then I, I think we will go back into a recession. Money Watch correspondent Jill Schlesinger says it's all about what means the most to us, jobs and homes. The house that they own has gone down in value. The 401ks have gone down in value, and their wages are mostly frozen if they're lucky to have them at all. Experts are hoping a report on new jobless claims today will show a decrease. Now to the controversy that has divided many people. The planned Islamic Center and mosque two blocks from New York's Ground Zero. A new CBS News poll finds 71% of Americans are against it, and just 24% of us have a favorable impression of Islam. Mohammed Shamsi Ali of the Islamic Cultural Center. I'm very sad because we know that America is the most tolerant country in the world. Vanderbilt University sociologist Richard Lloyd says public opinion has been shaped by recent events. Incidents like the Times Square bomber or the Fort Hood gunman should be expected to amplify people's anxiety. In New York, police are investigating an apparent hate crime. A Muslim cabbie was stabbed by a man who asked about his religion. The suspect is a student who volunteers with a group promoting interfaith tolerance. In Iraq today, an attack left six people dead in Baghdad. The country's foreign minister expects violence to continue now that U.S. combat troops have pulled out. Michael O'Hanlon at the Brookings Institution says there are still challenges for President Obama. He's probably got to get the U.S. more involved in trying to help form this new Iraqi government because that process of paralysis, their inability to form a new government almost six months after the elections, now risks reinforcing this random terrorist violence and becoming more of a political violence. Here at home, there's word eggs from the big salmonella recall could still end up on the shelf at your supermarket. CBS's Randall Pinkston. CBS News has learned that some of the recalled eggs are being sent to egg processing facilities, along with fresh ones that infected hens are still producing. The eggs will be cooked, pasteurized, and used in products like ice cream and mayonnaise. Food science expert Bruce Chassie says we shouldn't be worried about this. It's admittedly saving money for the people who produce them, but it's also saving kind of like the environment from getting all these eggs dumped on them and saving the wastefulness of throwing away a half a billion Bank prices have gone up in some areas by as much as 40%. With Hurricane Katrina, there was the water and wind, the devastation, and the anger. They put us up here to die. When we die up here, it's because of the state of Louisiana just let us die up here. With the fifth anniversary of the monster storm this weekend, CBS's Cammy McCormick has gone back to the region. Fisherman Mark Clark rode out the storm in his boat. His house was lost. It was just blown away and then it floated away to what was left. I stayed in the boat 27 hours. Jamie Williams took refuge at the New Orleans Superdome. So it still feel like yesterday to me. She lost her childhood home and many like her have yet to rebuild. They can't afford anything more than mobile homes. Few businesses have reopened. I don't think no matter how hard we tried, we would never have what we had. And if another hurricane hits, she says she will never return. Cammie McCormick, CBS News, Venice, Louisiana. Four minutes after the hour. Do you love feeling in control? 
doing wherever, whenever, then you'll love the 2010 Subaru Forester. Symmetrical all-wheel drive grips the road. And with a 170-horsepower Subaru Boxer engine and 27 miles to the gallon, you get more power and better fuel economy than the Honda CR-V four-wheel drive. Plus, the Forester is the most award-winning small SUV. Experience it for yourself at your local Subaru dealer. Love is what makes a Subaru a Subaru. Hurry into your local Subaru dealer and take a test drive today. While you're there, ask about our great low-rate APR programs or our special lease programs. These deals won't last long and are set to expire at the end of August. EPA fuel estimate for 2010 Subaru Forester 2.5X manual transmission, 27 MPG highway. 2009 Honda CRV four-wheel drive, EPA estimate, 26 MPG highway. Actual mileage may vary based on manufacturer's website data as of June 2009. Claim based on cumulative awards won since 1997 from car and driver, my best trucks. Edwins.com, editor's most wanted. An RO Vulcan Company, Oak Automotive Loyalty Award. There may be no meeting between former President Carter and North Korean leader Kim Jong-il. He's gone to China while Mr. Carter is in North Korea.